I got two fluorescent lights in the other room and one of them stopped working, but I put a new ballast in it. It's working great now. But I noticed once I did that, the other one was kind of dim and flickering, which I hadn't really noticed before, but now it's kind of obvious. So anyway, I'm gonna change the ballast in the second one and uh, I'll show you how to do it. Anyway, come along, it's pretty easy. I just replaced that one, but this is the one that needs to be done. The flickering isn't really visible on camera, but it comes across as a yellow band instead. Don't forget to turn off the circuit breaker. The diffusers on these are super easy to remove, and I'm sure you already know how to do this, but just in case you don't, you know, push up, pull back, and swing the thing down out of the way. In my house, the diffusers act as bug killers. I mean bug collectors, or bug, uh. To remove the bulbs, give them a twist and slide them right out of their sockets. Although I'm sure you probably already know this considering we're watching a video about replacing a ballast, not a bulb. But anyway, remove the cover by giving it a squeeze Everything kind of slides out of little slots and pulls right down, and uh, this will reveal the wiring in the ballast. I figured this was a good opportunity to stop and take a picture just in case I had to cross-reference or backtrack on anything I did here in the future. This is the point where we find out whether or not we turned the right breaker off. And luckily in my case, this time I did. Although one time, actually, never mind. But don't forget to take the white one and the black one both off and recap them because we want to protect those bare wires just in case somebody flips that breaker back on. On top of the sockets where the bulbs go in, we need to remove all the wires. I just used a paper clip. There's a little hole underneath where the wire goes. You poke it in and the wire comes right out. Because my fixture has two bulbs, one end will have jumper wires and those can be left alone. My fixture uses two 40 watt T12 bulbs, which is exactly what the old ballast was rated for. When selecting a new ballast, it doesn't need to be the same size or shape, but it does need to match the correct specifications. As you can see, this one supports two 40 watt T12 bulbs, which is exactly what I need. Also, there are three common ballast start types, instant start, rapid start, and program start. The main difference between the three types is how quickly the light comes on after you flip the switch. And the reason for a delay is to preheat the bulb before lighting it, which ultimately allows for a longer bulb lifespan. At the end of the day, they'll all work just fine, so this one's really just up to you. Most fixtures are pre-drilled for the different sizes of ballast, so all I had to do is move the screw to the other hole, and then there you go. I decided to make more work for myself and cut the wires to length on the new ballast, which really is just a giant waste of time, and instead I should have done what I did on the first ballast I installed and just wadded up all the extra up inside there when I put it back together. The new ballast had exactly the same number of wires and colors of wires, so it was pretty easy just connect them back in where the older ones came out. But just in case you're confused or get lost or something, don't forget, right on the ballast itself, there's a diagram of where all the wires are supposed to go. See, and I ended up having to just wad up the wires anyway. Well, after making the last couple bulb connections, it's time to move on to the main power connection. Now, provided your wife hasn't turned the power back on yet, this should go pretty straightforward as well. Well, it's about time now we can install the rat's nest hiding device. We'll reinstall the bulbs and the cover, and uh, I guess we're ready. That wasn't too bad. Anyway, it's pretty easy. You just gotta go out and do it. So your turn and uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up if it helped and we'll see you around.